How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm so curious. There are certain things that I would love to ask you, right? I, I felt a need of having this sit with you because I've been, as you know that I follow you, but I fail to understand some of the, actually most of the things that you say. It's just that I, I win through the, the titles and then the comments, mm. right? And then before we start, can you please enlighten me here? Is Ghana a Christian country? No. But what is it with Ghanaian people and, and, and Christianity that they feel that um, Christianity has to rule? Oh, uh, you are talking about some of my videos I've posted online. Yeah. And then uh, you read the comment. Yes, that, that, that's how okay. I, I managed to get what's okay. happening. Yes. Now, it's not about um, Ghanaians okay. looking for a Christian uh, Christian. Uh, somebody who is a Christian or whatever to mm. rule. Yes. No. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's somebody who thinks he's a, a prophet that he is trying to tell Ghanaians to think through his head. As you said the other day that the, the, there are spiritual tabas. Yeah, Am yeah, I yeah. allowed to ask you, uh, uh, like, mentioning their names? Because yeah, yeah. I literally wrote the names down. Yeah. Okay. So... I heard the other day you were speaking about um, Owusu Pimba. Bimpa. Ah, Owusu Bimba. 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 And then Owusu there's Bimba. Obed Angel. Obed Angel. Obed Angel, I think it's in uh, Zimbabwe or something. Yeah, I think it's in Zimbabwe. So they're not in the same country. No, no, no. Owusu Bimba is a Ghanaian. Oh, okay. Because now my next question, I was going to ask you that. Are they in the same political party? No, 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 no. Owusu Bimba is a Ghanaian. Okay. And uh, he used to. Prophesy for NPP. What is NPP? NPP is um, it's a political party. Okay. So all his prophecies is for that party. Okay. Until 2024, this year. Okay. That he changed to NDC. That's another political party. So NDC has, it was existing even before. Yeah, And NDC, then NPP has been existing as yeah, well. Yeah, they are N NDC pastors. Okay. NDC pastors, some are Najigezi, Bedukobi, um, Najigezi, Bedukobi. They have a lot of NDC pastors. It's, it's, so it's, it's a political party that it, it's uh, mostly dominated by Christians, pastors, pastors. Uh, no, no, no. I wouldn't say that. But what I'm saying is uh, they are pastors for NDC. Okay. And they are pastors for MPP. Mm. Which will also be is one of the pastors for MPP. Okay. All his prophecies that comes from his God okay. goes to MPP party. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then all the prophecies from maybe Najigezi or Bedukobi goes to NDC from their God. Okay. Okay. So so basically, they are all Christians, but the God they are serving ha has a heart for different different political parties. <laughs> You understand? So when it's time for them to prophesy, they will prophesy for the party of the God. You understand? So there's a God of NDC and there's the God of NPP. But they are all Christians. Isn't, is that happening only in Ghana? Because I've never heard of such thing. Ah, uh, yes? No. Okay. So then that's what is happening in Ghana. There's a God for NPP and there's a God for NDC. Okay, so this boils back to what you always preach about that no God for go, no God for yourself. Yeah, if, so if you know God for yourself, you will not follow this kind of But what I'm trying thing. to say is it means that they chose the God that they believe that will work for them at that moment. Based based on what they are saying, the God of that NDC mm -hmm. only speaks to them. <laughs> you understand? Yes. And the God of that NPP. Only speaks to that MPP uh, pastor. So tell me about o o has, um Is he already campaigning to be a president? Owusu Bemba. Yes. No, 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 no. He just a uh, uh, he just calling himself a prophet. Okay. In Ghana. Uh huh. You understand? Mm -hmm. So he's not uh, campaigning to be president. Okay. He's just prophesying for somebody's father who want to be president. 
And then now, yes, in those, okay, I understand that every time you, you are you are about to vote now in December. Yeah, yeah, December 7th. You are, you are about to vote. Obviously, there's already political parties and there's already people who are campaigning for, for yeah, those yeah. things. So now, that does those people who are in that political party that he's busy prophesying to, do they believe him in everything that he tells them? Do they practice everything how he tells them how to do it? And do they believe really, really that they're going to be the pre- the next president if you, maybe they respond to th- his prophecies? You know, Ghana, Ghana um, churches, I will not even say one church, Ghana churches. Okay. It's a business entity. Okay. It's a liability company. And these churches are political companies. Most of the churches are being built by these politicians. They own the property. So they do account for them. Like you are, you have Uber. Yeah. And then your driver come and do sales. Mm-hmm. You understand? So these churches are affiliated to political parties. You understand? I am listening. So the leader who is talking to the political party, they are God. Who only listen to or who the, that God speak to, only him. Okay. We'll have to come every December to speak for that political party. Hmm. It will never change. Always for that party. You know okay, what? So, you, the, what you, so the question you are asking me yes. was, do they believe it? Yes. Because he's prophesying for the party. And then the, he is prophesying for the party. And then they believe it because he's going to control the spiritual tabas. Mm-hmm. The congregation, they are the spiritual tabas. They cannot think through their brain. They think through their heart. So after the pastor prophesied to the nation that uh, the next president is a konaba, mm-hmm. all the spiritual tabas will mm-hmm. have to abide by that prophecy. That is this pastor, that's our, our, prof, our papa. papa yeah. Our papa prophesied. Yeah. They are cornered by the next president. Okay. So automatically, when they go into the post, if they don't use the, the, the mind in the post, they will control by the what the pastor said, and they will vote for me. But now, this is what I want to understand. I'm not, I'm not good with Bible, all right? Mm. So I need you to help me here. In history, did we have such things where the presidents were affiliated with uh, with the pastors that they would they would guide them how they should lead the people? In history, in the Bible. In the Bible. No, in history, there's no president. It was kings. Yes, let's talk so, about kings. So the prophets in the Bible were choosing kings. Okay. We were prophesying for kings because God was the one ruling. But now God is not ruling South Africa. God is not ruling uh, America. God is not ruling Ghana. God, uh, God is just looking at you. Do your own thing. When you fail, you fix your problem. You talk to me. That's your personal thing. Mm-hmm. Now we are ruling. So in the Bible, God was ruling. He chose ah a Konaba, the descendant of a Konaba is the next. You understand? Mm-hmm. This is not the case here. This time is the tomb. <laughs> we vote. Yes. And then we choose. Your choice. So you cannot compare what the Bible, uh, maybe someone did in the Bible to what we Ghanaians we are, we are talking yeah, about. about. We are not Samoa. Mm-hmm. Samoa is his own problem. Mm-hmm. Samoa was living, I think it's in Israel. Mm-hmm. But as we speak in Israel, they vote. Mm-hmm. They don't prophesy that this person is the next president of Israel. No. Israel they vote. So why is it that somebody who is a who is descendant were the one doing those kind of stuff are not even doing it? But you Ghanaians, your descendants are not that of someone. You are taking this problem on yourself. Yeah, there's this thing that I, I, I grew up understanding when it's it comes to the meaning of government. Do your people, do people of Ghana understand what's the meaning of government? And are the leaders as well understand what's the meaning of the government? Because they say a government, it's by the people, of the people, from the people, mm-hmm. and for the people. Yeah. As you're saying, mm-hmm. right? So now why they, like, my, my worry is that um, even from the leaders to other Christians, 
obvious who are leaded by the prophet. I feel that they are the one who are who's entertaining this. But we have higher authorities in the parliament. What are they saying about this whole thing of allowing prophets to take over on what the constitution says and the 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 the, the ethics of the political um, Okay, now the 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 issue is um you asked me in the beginning that is Ghana a Christian country? Yes. And you said no. It's not a Christian country. It's a spiritual country. Please uh, tell okay. me about it. Because spirituality, it can be a voodoo. It can be Christianity. Yeah. It can be anything. It's a spiritual country. Okay. So 99% are in the spirit. Because of dedication going on. So now I can confirm maybe 80% are in the spirit. But what kind of spirit or spirituality? They are being controlled by the spiritual fathers. In Christian world. In Christian, in voodoo, in whatever. They believe that somebody is looking in the spiritual realm for them. What does the, the parliament say? Parliament. Yes. The those, people who are those already... in the parliament, those in the government, they are already in the spiritual realm. I say 80%, including the parliamentarians. Wow. What happened to the Constitution of Ghana? What does the Constitution of Ghana say? Because obviously, each and every country has a constitution that we need to follow from the beginning, right? What you are saying is um, is the fact, okay? But yes. what I'm telling you now is those who are supposed to use the constitution, they know very well that How the things people... things to be done to allocate the president. They know very well that the people, when they start to reason, is game over. You understand? You it's mean? game over. What do you mean? In our language, we say quasianity and now grolegu. A stupid when a stupid person starts reasoning, there's no game. Hmm. But the moment you are still being in your stupid ways, there's more game coming. Because when you start reasoning, you start asking questions. Hmm. You start asking the uh, the leaders questions. You start asking the authority questions. But now, because you are no reason, you are in the spiritual realm. Mm. You think whatever is happening is spiritual. But what's what's happening to the twenty percent? Since well, you you made it approximately. Yeah, the twenty percent are the ones complaining. I'm part of the twenty percent. But what 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 is it happening? Is there any attention that that twenty percent is getting as well to to be listened to? They they, are... they, they watch our videos. They watch those twenty percent. They think they are antichrist. So, or, or like automatically, you are in a spiritual and uh, Christianity country, it's but not, it's not I'm, by I'm far. Saying, I'm not saying, uh, don't say sp- uh, Christian. Christian, it's a spiritual. Voodoo, everything, it's a spiritual country. <laughs> Should they make it official though? To, to, to be For like me, that? I think it's, Ghana is a spiritual country. For me. Because how can you say we have 33 points, 33.40 something, I stand to be corrected, Mm-mm. 33 point something million people living in Ghana. Okay. Okay. And then one person will just wake up and tell 33 point something million that I want to choose president for you. Hmm. You understand? 33 point something million, not and, I, and I million. It. And one person will sleep, wake up the next day and say that God has opened my eyes. Vote for this person. How many political parties are in official right now who are um, the campaigning? I for now, at least 13 or so. I think, that's, yeah, I think 13 or so. 13. I think more than even, even more, but I think 13. So now, this, the, okay, that 80% that we're talking about that agrees with this pastor, right? Okay, that supports what the pastor says that they have to be chosen a president that's going to rule. Did they go maybe check the, the history of that person? Because I know that there's some. Um, Who is to check? We have to check as a country no, before no. we we allocate Ekwanaba as a president. What if Ekwanaba was um, a criminal? I interview one pastor on my channel. I don't know if you watch it. The pastor is saying that Christians should vote Christianly, and the Muslims should vote Muslimly. But that's a division of a country. That's what I'm saying. So they are not thinking about policy. You are asking me. They don't care about uh, the policy. Spiritual, Christianly. Are they Muslim? Uh, are, Aren't you worried that your country might bring some war unnecessarily so? It can happen. Yeah. It's, very, it's very easy to happen that uh, there can be serious war. Mm. 
because of one pastor fooling around dividing the country you understand not it, divide fooling around but it, it's it's automatically being going to be divided more especially if they don't follow the protocol they don't want to follow the protocol the reason why this wusu bempa guy uh-huh. is mad and prophesying for the other party is because he went to a woman's house okay mm. the woman's name is agrada that woman is a fetish priest okay to fight that woman mm. not to preach fight he didn't go there to preach salvation he went there to fight according to the videos we saw mm. you understand I'm listening. and when he went there the police arrested him because you've invaded somebody's privacy trespassing and yeah so he was arrested mm. he don't he don't want to follow protocol the, the whole pastor been arrested Yeah, yeah, he was arrested and put before bus, you know, put before court, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? But that got him angry because they were supposed to leave him. He doesn't want to follow protocols. He doesn't want to follow the rules and regulations. Yeah. No, I am a pastor. Don't do this to me. I fucked up, but it's fine. Leave so, me. So, being a pastor in your country is it a big title? Yeah, yeah, it's a, for them, not to me. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying to that 80%. When you're a pastor, you have this um hierarchy that you can just yeah you can fool around do everything and then because you are a pastor and no one is worried that this whole thing is taking the country down because the spiritual tabas are now ready to to come join the 20% so if you misbehave or if you more treat their spiritual leader you will lose election because he can just tell them because of what they did to me god has tell me to vote for this but they would do it wow uh, this this thing i'm sorry i keep on cuz it, it's a mind blowing thing cuz i believe that even even if there's a there's there's a government in your country there are other countries that are are involved right we have a un right where our presidents and hierarchy people they they sit on and which is right now maybe they are aware of this whole thing that now there's no constitution that has been followed but they will just follow a uh, somebody who just woke up and said um they should vote for someone what are they saying about this thing i'm talking about who, the un who? united nation who is taking to united nation it's the government your government the parliament i'm telling you they are all part of the spiritual tabas that's what i'm asking you who is taking to the united nation <laughs> the one who would take it to the united nation The Christians will say he is coming to fight Christianity. I would love to go to Ghana. And then they will vote against that person. I would love to go to Ghana because I think those are the things that we take so lightly that we've seen in other countries um what happens when there's there's so much insensitivity when it comes to politics, when it comes to Christianity and what c- happens when it comes to JSE. And now people are sitting here entertaining things that might drain the country. Mm-hmm. How does it make you feel when you think about it like as of that 20% who sees the damage that is it's you foreseeing um the, the unseen events. What I can do is just do the education. Explain to people, let them know. They decide there's nothing I can do. Nothing. even as i'm speaking yeah somebody will be commenting insulting me it's so sad though yeah yeah that's what i'm saying so i know it's a sickness it's in their brain it, it it's so sad because we we always work on creating better life for our next generation to another and if our next generation and another is going to inherit in, in this whole thing that, that is, is going down that is what it is it's, it will never go down the spiritual tabas will go down We 20% will hold Ghana. You understand? Yeah. We will hold Ghana. The 80% will go down. So the 20% has to just stick to what they know best. We will do what we have to do. How do we reach this this pastor? Who? This pastor who's be busy telling people what to this do. This even the, the, the funny part is uh, this Hubert Ndio or whatever. Yes. He's not a Ghanaian. is it from zimbabwe yes. and he is telling ghanians to uh, you see all, all this nonsense are they friends are they in communication when you think he's not even the president of zimbabwe <laughs> you understand <laughs> to even talk to government what i'm trying to say are they in communication who oh and 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 um, yeah 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 
because in the video he said that uh, uh, they will call me and then uh, they will t- I will tell them meaning they talk This but, people are in a serious business. Eh? Very serious business. But the problem is, I don't even get it. I'm a Ghanaian. Yes. A prophet. You cannot say anything about South Africans. And then saying South Africa go and vote for, what kind of nonsense is this? <laughs> Your people need... Because, because uh, he said, I'm a prophet. I'm a prophet because of that, go and vote for this. You, you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's madness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I, I really hope Ghanaian are listening and they, they understand the danger if they really gonna... I'm not, obviously, I don't know the parties. And then and now that this guy, Ousu Bempa, is not prophesying for the MPP party, the MPP party, are, uh, they are exposing him of his false prophecies and stuff, meaning they were they enjoying knew. it. No, that's what I'm, I'm telling you, that they cannot take it to UN because they know. So, I uh, okay, when we started, you said that he was... Before he was uh, working with the NPP. Um, yeah, yeah. Now the NPP is exposing him. Yeah, because it's not prophesying for them again. Because they know that there's no God talk to anybody. But they, they were using for the... For because the, of the spiritual tabas. Because of the spiritual tabas. Now that he's not prophesying for them, the information are coming out. So, 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 so the Ghanaians, to be honest, it's not like they don't know what the truth is. They know. It's just that they choose to, to stay where they are. They are enjoying it. Are they being threatened though that maybe they're going to be killed or something? Because sometimes you would fall for things because of maybe there are things that they are holding against you or maybe you're scared Nothing. to die. Nothing. Nobody will kill anybody in Ghana. If you make your own choice. Nobody will kill anybody. Ghanaians, Ghana is a peaceful country. Nobody will do that. They are How just fooling. How long will that be? Though? They are just fooling. How long cruise. will that be? They're fooling. How long will that be that it's going to be a peaceful country? It's While already de- a peaceful country. It's already a peaceful country. But there's a division that is happening right now. No, it's just the spiritual tabas fooling. You understand? Mm. And the education is going out there. People are getting to understand. I made a, a video, Mm-mm. Street Quiz. Mm-hmm. And then they interview a lot of people. They are commenting that ah, my pastor cannot tell me to vote for. No, no, I will never. People yeah. are getting the idea. And 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 this is the another part that I don't understand because I I know my country. They say your vote is your voice, is your choice, and mm-hmm. it's your secret. Yeah, that's that's how my even my even as works. a pastor, even if you're a leader. No one should know which yeah, party you voted that's for. That's what I'm saying. We might be in the same in your church, but six of us, we are in. I mean, 60 of us, we in different parties. That is what I'm saying. That as a leader, you are not even supposed to tell. No one should know. That not I, just a leader. You are a religious leader. Your aim is to preach the gospel, salvation. Yes. And now you are preaching NDC MPP. Where are they going? Where are they? I uh, mean, the spiritual tabas. Where are they? Where are you taking them to? Yeah. The point is, you are not even supposed to say it. Not just a pastor. Your vote is your choice. It's your voice. It's your secret. So now it's worse when you are a pastor who's leading people with different beliefs, and your Ghanaian people they don't see that that it's wrong. Is he? Is has he ever been called out though to be told that what you're doing is wrong? Period. The IGP. The Inspector General of Police of Ghana yeah. put a claim outside that you can prophesy whatever, no problem. But don't make it public. If yeah. you see something about me, mm-hmm. come to me, talk to me direct. Or call me or find a way. Okay. Don't say it on air. That Is this, he following that? They even attacked the IGP, including the, the government, some of the people in the government, including the MPs, the Minister of Parliament, Including some of the police officials, they attacked the IGP for telling pastors not to do that. This guy is behaving like a god of Ghana. Who? This guy, uh, 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 Ouzu. Ouzu Bemba. Mm. No, 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 he's not a god. He's the god of his own house, you know. He's a mm. god in his own house. You understand? He's god to some of these spiritual tabas. Mm. Not just Ouzu Bemba. All these pastors, they are god to their spiritual tabas. Not me. Mm. I don't care about them. Have but they, the moment have I they start, responded to you when it comes they to they always your do they some curse me but I don't nothing happens they don't have even a paracetamol they don't have a panadol nothing mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. the point is I comment on their videos when it's about Ghana I am not Togolese I'm not from uh, China. Uh, China 
I don't speak a hum hai. I speak my language. I'm a Ghanaian. So when they speak about Ghana, I am part of Ghana. Then I will react because they are speaking about Ghana. Yeah. But if you profess that ah, my church members are going to die in the name of Jesus, I don't care. That's my I'm a, I'm a church member. Mm. But if you are prophesying about Ghana, I will, I will speak. Because you cannot be a Ghanaian more than me. We are all Ghanaians. You understand? You, mm. cannot, you can never be a, a VIP Ghanaian. <laughs> you understand? We are all Ghanaians. You understand? Mm. We have the same voter's ID card. There's no voter's ID card written on a VIP voter's ID card. No. Mm. The same voter's ID card. But this thing has been going on for too long. That's why you see it on my page a lot. We are talking about it because they've been fooling for more than years and people are following these crooks. Yeah. You understand? Mm. People are following this. Uh, I think they have mental issues. Do you think so though? Yeah, yeah. Mo- most of them, they are mad. When you see them speaking, you can feel, you can see in their eyes that yeah, this one is not normal. They, they are speaking through their madness. You but understand? don't you think maybe the Ghana need some type of intervention when it comes to such things? Like most, but I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna talk about polit- politics, of course, because that's that's why I set up with you here. Because I was, this whole thing, it it just got me so curious. Who on earth wake up and say to people they have to vote for a certain person? Have they did the research about that person? Is they, that person well deserving to be there? What has that person has done? Like the person that they have to vote for, that the pastor says they have to vote for, what has it done for the country before it becomes a president? What he, has it done for He was even a president for six years and left, they vote him out two consecutive times. Okay. And then now he's the one God has called again. If you were doing the writing, would somebody vote you out? That's what I'm saying. But what they has he care. was what has done? Because I'm gonna make an example with, um, you know why Mandela was voted right mm-hmm. in my country to become the president. We had we had Utabombeki, we had Jacob Zuma. Those are the people who went to exile, underground to fight for freedom and all that. We know what they've done for our country. So now this person that the pastor. Owusu is saying that they should be voted for. What has they done prior? Maybe the Owusu Bempa can write a comment in the comment Please, section. Please, I just need to know that what are, what are his what, reasons mm, for him to think that he's the best he candidate? Reason, he's reason for saying that. Okay, he stated it clearly. Okay. You'll be the next president because of your good heart. <laughs> That's all. Uh, good heart. He has a good <laughs> heart. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh. Yeah, that was, that was all. He said it that when we are, we were praying, God revealed to me that you'll be the next president because you have a good. I heart. wonder how much are they giving him, your pastor? Because I feel like there's a, there's money that they gave him. Now it's more like a promotion, you know. Uh, when how you, can you do this for free? Because they will attack you. The whole Ghana is attacking him, <laughs> and we are doing it for free. Because <laughs> now it's more like um, when they say Ekwana, but can you please promote us in this thing? And then you have to talk obviously nice things. Yes, about and us. then they will and insult me. They and then you're gonna they, you're gonna get paid because I know the attack will come. So they have to they have to pay me. So I because the whole Ghana, yeah. I can even say sixty percent is talking about those. How can you even sleep? Yeah, he's he's getting paid for this because definitely. you cannot even sleep. Sixty percent, everybody is talking about you. You were fake. You prophesied that this one was, will never be a president again. That's what he said. That the one he said is going to be president. Before we have, he said... We have 10 videos. You will never be a president again. What? Okay, can you please tell me more about this? So before now, he chose that he's going to be a president. Mm-hmm. Prior, he said... Uh, previous, he said... A lot of the, videos. He said he will never be. He will never. And then what changed? And then God, he... God has confirmed it that he will never be a president again. So he went to negotiate with God now. Yeah, and maybe then... there's negotiation in the spiritual realm. So now it's fine. That God, you know, I know that you didn't see mm-hmm. him as a president, but let's forgive him. Let's give him a chance. Yeah. He has repented now. He's a good man. So now the attack is coming on this guy, Obusi Bempa, because yeah. of what he said previously. That this man, same man, would never be a president. That this man has blood on his hand. A lot of things you don't know. A lot, a lot, a lot, too much. So the attack is coming on him. So if you are doing this for free, I think this guy is just, I don't know. Never. For free. Because the whole 60% are talking about it. How can you even sleep? Your name everywhere. No, I don't think it's for free. Because this is a serious issue. The whole Ghana. 
move abroad in Ghana, everybody is talking about this guy. So I don't think it's for free. <laughs> this thing is it's it's <laughs> I think I think Ghana it's a very interesting country. Eh? Yeah, Ghana is a it's a channel, okay? It's a channel in heaven. Okay? Okay. W- when the angels want to laugh, then they tune in. You they understand? they watch Ghana only. Yeah, when they want to laugh in in heaven, then okay. they tune in, they tune in the channel. Hmm. To Ghana. Then the whole heaven will be happy. I'm <laughs> like everybody. These people they're entertaining us because even myself it, it's so sad because I don't understand the language, but every time I go through the comments ah, because the, the same pastor yes there's those NDC guys they were insulting this pastor when he was prophesying for NPP yes they were insulting him telling him a lot of things now that he's back to NDC they say ah this is the good man this man is the the pastor now this, now, this <laughs> that's what I'm saying Ghana is a channel it's a channel. So now when he wa- when the pastor was saying this guy will never be the president other members of that party they were cursing at the pastor Oh I have videos some we have some even went to the cemetery to curse him <laughs> So now cuz now the pastor is on their side yeah. now they are buddy buddies Buddy buddies Ghana is a channel it's a serious channel I want to go to Ghana It's a serious channel that, Ghana <laughs> is the only country okay Yeah when it's about to rain okay. they they will not call the weather forecast Okay. You your country they will call the border forecast. We 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 they they send those things up front the guitar, prior, and, everything. and then we when it happens we're like oh the weather forecast did say that it's In Ghana is like not like that. that. They will call the, the the pastor. Hello prophet, how are you? I say I'm fine. Uh in the spiritual realm, how do you see the weather? Then he will tell you. Oh, when I went into the spiritual realm, I saw that God is very angry, and then the rain is going. So this, you don't have climatologist in your country. We do, but when he said this, when the climatologists say this kind it's of stuff, true. it's not true. They will never believe it. When it comes from a pastor, ah, confirm. <laughs> it's a spiritual country. You understand? When you go to the army page, when you go to the police page on website, they have spiritual updated church. everything. That there's going to be a war. There's there some crooks coming into Ghana. It's the, it's the prophets who are, who are in. when they go into the army. I mean their website. Yes. they've updated it there. They even go out to say it on everywhere. Yeah, Ghanaians will never believe it unless it is prophesied. That in the realms of the spirit, I saw that there are some crooks coming to Ghana. Okay, I get it. I then, get what then you're they will, they will understand. Maybe let's say the the army says. Uh, we've detected that there's a missile that it wanna get through our country. Mm-hmm. We've detected that um, there's submarine. No, they won't believe. Mm-hmm. When you take it to the spiritual realm, they will get it first. So anyone can be a pastor in your country. Anyone, anyone. I wanna go there and be a pastor. Anyone, just just wake up one day, stop fooling, <laughs> saying a whole lot of things. I wanna go there and be like, I wanna talk about my tattoos, guys. How I got my tattoos, and God gave me the restoration. You, you, you be a prophetess. You make money straight. I'm telling you, the the quickest way to make money in Ghana, to be a prophet. <laughs> Why haven't you been one? <laughs> no, I don't want to. I don't want to uh, take money from the poor. I'm joking. I know you. You understand? I, know, I will I never do that. No, you I'm understand? joking. Yeah. But to in Ghana, to be to be a prophet, to be a pastor, to be whatever. Is the money making industry? Hmm. God never called anybody. Hmm. That side, no, no, no. And it's so sad because even in my country, most of people who are prophets here are not South Africans. You see, so most they they they, they come from different different. Different, yes. They are not More called, especially Zimbabwe, Nigeria, and Ghana. They are not called by any god. Okay, they are using sangu. They are sangumes. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. In our country, they will say they are using a bosom. Okay. Okay. So this a bosom is what they brought into your country. What is a bosom? They are sangumes. Okay. They worship idols. Oh. Okay. So th- those idols are their angels. Mm. You understand? So it's easy for them to, to 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 hypnotize us to believe whatever that they say. Yeah. So don't call it call them African prophets because they are using the African tradition. Okay. So they're not Christians. There's no Christian. Who is the Christian? They are African, uh, African, uh, African prophets. They are using our ancestors, voodoo's. our ancestors' voodoo's. You know, 
Yeah. yeah. So if he tell you, I, I saw you. Your yeah. name is this. Your mother is this. Da, 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 da. But and they, those Forget people called because I understand that in in, um, in Russia, mm-hmm. there's certain people who foresee things and then they tell, they call them the shaman. So your prophets, they behave they like shaman. The, they are the same thing. Dif- no difference. They are, the only difference is they, are, they put color here and then with the suit. That's it. They only, they and then they just say they are Christians, but they are not mm-hmm. that. Yeah, they are not. No. But there's nothing wrong with becoming a Sangoma that's or shaman. That's what I'm saying. That's, saying. that's my problem. Yes. The more reason why this guy called Ajagureja. Yes. I don't talk about this guy. It's because he's made it publicly that I don't follow Jesus Christ. Yeah, but I have this yes, that I chose. Yes, or it's, it's my okay. gift or whatsoever. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with that. We know that. But the moment people. you add Jesus Christ, that is when Ghanaians will come. Because they think, ah, Jesus is using this guy. That's what you, and when I was listening to your um, interview with uh, Maponga, Mm-hmm. He did say that for a, a better way to elevate yourself, it's to put a, a Jesus Christ as a brand. Mm-hmm. Ah. When you do that, ah, you get a lot of followers. You make too much money. So now, um, when is the date of the vote? Seventh of uh, December. But what I'm telling Ghanaians is, um, these guys prophesying in Ghana, telling them where they should vote to. Hmm. They have mental issues, okay? They are not normal. Uh, they need to do a brain check because whatever they are saying, um, what do you call it? Is it sci-fi movies, yes? Yeah, it's sci-fi. They watch sci-fi movies. So they, they think what they saw on the television is from God. Yeah, it's called sci- there's sci-fi movies and then there's fantasy. Uh-huh. So they watch cartoons, they watch horror movies, they watch Indian movies, they watch sci-fi movies, action movies, and then at the end of the day, they sleep because what happens in the physical, you take it into the dream. And then when they sleep and they wake up, whatever they saw, they thank God to them. So most of these guys are prophesying through sci-fi movies. They are prophesying through horror Indian movies, through Chinese movies. They don't see anything, okay? Yes. Because this Owusu Bempa guy, yes. if he sees something, mm. the same God should have told him that where you are going, the woman's house, somebody, they will, you will get arre- you'll be arrested. Exactly. And then he was. You are supposed to foresee that, yeah. or maybe have powers of stopping those people mm-hmm. to to make it, like they shouldn't stop him doing what he wants even to if accomplish. You, even if you have power, yes. And somebody is talking ill about you, mm. and you want to confront the person, why? Go into your engine room, kill the person in the spiritual realm. Case close. Why are you going for the guy? Maybe he didn't want to kill her. No, you can make him maybe dumb. You, can, you cannot talk again. <laughs> then you'll be fine. No? Because the I person is you. making noise on social yeah. media. And she's you. exposing you. She's disturbing you. Yeah, so just make him dumb. <laughs> and even the course. NPPs that now they're exposing what he's been doing, he should be Do the doing same that. thing. Don't come out and be explaining to who, me. Even Ekwanaba, when you're like, oh, what, the moment you yeah. will, oh, so, then so the, anybody who is disturbing you past a prophet and you think you are powerful, just go into your engine room. Shut their mouth. You cannot go into interviews again. They will not talk about you again. Because when they open their mouth, <laughs> it means you have power. Why do you have to come out and be explaining yourself? I if blame, they take them, I would do the well, well, Master, you don't have anything. I, I, I blame as well the, the congregation of Owu, so I feel like they are hypocrites. Because now, if you know very well that you don't want to vote for what your pastor is saying, and then you want to vote maybe for the NPP, why are you still there? They don't have, where, where, where are they supposed to go? They think they, they are under some uh, anointing. Protection. Some protection, whatever. So they, are, they don't have a choice. So they will vote for that even if they don't believe that it's the no, right they, political. Some might change their mind not to vote for what this guy is saying. Some. Then why are you in the church of someone that you don't believe their prophecy? They don't care about their prophecy. They care about what you are going to tell me. You understand? Or the person a personal will, level. Yes. yes oh. He will be telling you stories. I see you. Ah, your name is Selindeli. Hey, Papa. Is, is your name not Selindeli? <laughs> I am. Why are you surprised? I'm surprised that you are a pastor and you, I don't know that you know my name. Ah, you are Selindeli. I am Selindeli. And I tell you you are Selindeli. So what? It's maybe if I'm to tell you you are Selindeli, actually, in the next three months you'll be called a dwarf. <laughs> then it's a surprise. 
The next month, they will call you dwarf. We say, ah, some pastor told me I'll be called dwarf. That's a surprise. Mm. But you are Slindily. You are telling my name Slindily. Okay, so what? Maybe they become surprised that, oh, he knows my name. So what? So what? It's a prophecy. Prophecy. A random person calling my name. Obviously, I become shocked. It's a prophecy. So what happened to a Sangoma calling your name? Is that, is that to a prophecy? It's... It, it, Confirms the power of that person. It's, it's a prophecy. Oh, that one is not prophecy. It's power. It is. It's, it is. A, it's prophecy. I mean, whether you go so you to call the that shrine, Sangoma, you go, you call that Sangoma to a prophet, or you call that Sangoma just a Sangoma. No, it's a Sangoma. That one is a Sangoma. It's a Sangoma. And that one saying the same thing is but a prophet. But with us, we have obviously we have different kinds of spirituality. We have prophets. Pro- prophets in my country are people who you can go and they can tell you your things, but they don't use um, the, the herbs, right? And then we have... <laughs> I don't want we to have Sangomas, listen. we've got shrines, we've got That different. is your problem. My problem is to tell me things about what? Why? Why? Why must I know? Why? For what? But if I, if I may ask, because of you've been doing this for the longest time, mm-hmm. have you found pastors who tell people positive things that in the next month this is the greatest thing that will happen in your life or they always want to look on the negative things around you? The negative things is what they publish. You understand? They should be, they should be prophesying that ah, Ghana will, will be the next top uh, country in the world. Exactly. That's what we want to hear. That's what I'm saying. Do, have they ever no, prophets? No, no, no. There's always comes? doom. Always doom. There's going to be war. There's going to be fire. There's going to be... What kind of nonsense is that? You understand? When you meet uh, that your spiritual or that your spirit, yes. ask that your spirit sensible questions. There's a pastor in Ghana called Apostle Kodjusafu. That man of God, I can confidently say he's man of God. You know why? Mm-hmm. Because when he goes into the spiritual realm, and he come back on earth. He can create uh, even a, a, a pond. And then the fish will just grow within two seconds. He will clap. And then the TV will open. He will clap. The fridge will start talking. Isn't that a magician though? Whether it's a magician or whatever. Use that your spirit to do the same thing. You want to see I mean, I know physical. someone who's called David Blake. He does the same thing. Like, no, no, But he's I, a magician. I'm not saying he just... Doing this for that thing to no, it's selling it. You can buy it, take it to your house. You mm, understand? Mm. You can buy it, take it to your house. The TV, then you take it to your house. He created the, I mean, he built the TV, he built TV, he built cars, mm. he's building machineries, he's building bombs, he's building, you know, he's an inventor. That, and then he's also an apostle, a pastor. You understand? Mm. So, why don't you ask your spirit, your spirit when you meet him or her? Hmm. That I want to invent things. Hmm. Then we can all say, ah, you are a man of God. You have spirit. Yeah. But you, your spirit, it, don't, it doesn't invent anything. Just and, nonsense. And, and it's so alarming for the fact that, I mean, there are very highlighted things that you can say about your country, but they don't foresee those ones. Because because of the spiritual taboo, spiritual things are going out. You understand? That this voting, they, they're supposed to be calling their political scientists. Yeah. The political, I mean, the guys who have been in the schools learning, you know, to that, ask them, what, yeah, to ask them, ah, so uh, this policy, what do you think about this policy? Is it going? You yeah, understand? like, like for an example, maybe let's talk about Netherlands. Netherlands is one of the countries that they don't have much crime and all that. I think our countries have to invest in such things of asking for advice. How are you guys doing it? Because if we wanna but, apply that but to our in country, Ghana, in Ghana, they will call a prophet to ask. A prophet okay mm. about what somebody who has gone to school to learn mm-hmm. they will ask a prophet to tell them in the spiritual realm mm. even people who did theory they will still go to the pastor listen even when we are playing football mm-hmm. they call pastors Ah, the, the, the match Sangoma. between Ghana and Nigeria. What, what what's happening in the spiritual realm? Yeah, with us they do that as well, but they do it through the Sangoma here. You understand? So the I, yeah, in the spiritual realm, I saw that it's going to be two one, but the ghosts were going. What kind of nonsense is this? Wait, that now after they prophesy that two one, does it happen? No. And then they confront that pastor. You were liar. Then he said, 
Do you know what they say? I want to hear this one. Ghana versus Nigeria is going to play a football, okay? Yeah. There are some things they need to do. There are some directions they need to do in the spiritual realm. We are going to pray. But if they want to win, they should see me. Then we can do things so that they can win the game. Oh. So when it happens that they win, we, we, we prayed. Okay. And if, if it doesn't you know, happen. It's because of you didn't come, you to, come me. to see me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hear you. So always their prophecy, there's a window. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Because this also been passed the same thing. Mm. Joe Mahama can never be president. Yeah. He can never da, 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 da. Yeah. but if he sees a man of God with the hand of God, he will be president. There's a that window. was then. That was then. He, mm. he said a lot of things and then he put this one somewhere. Because he was to protect something. So now that he's professor for John Ramanima, I, I said, said it. I said it. That, that he need a hand of God. And he got it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so there's always there's always a window. <laughs> There's always a window <laughs> that you need to, you know, you need to go through that window. I wish I understand your language. I think every day I would be laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I also, I speak and then I show evidence to whatever I'm saying to. Yes. It's clear. It's there. You understand? Mm. There's another guy, Najee Gezi. Mm. His Facebook is being hacked. Eh? Didn't he foresee that? That's what I'm saying. The prophet, they hacked his Facebook and he's begging hackers, please release my Facebook for me. <laughs> prophet. <laughs> go into the spiritual realm kill the pro, uh, the hackers or you maybe you should even know them he should know in the who realms. he should know who did that but now he's on television begging that he should release the facebook account this same person is prophesying that Muhammad will be president but the EC should be careful the electoral commission should be careful <laughs> and then they, they should take a lot of people to the polling station they should look carefully because if they don't take care in the realms I see that John Mahama is the president, but still MPP is sitting on the chair. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of windows, you see? <laughs> so when <laughs> so when NDC lose, ah, I, I, the, I EC, said he... the EC, yeah. the police station, mm. uh, mm -hmm. windows. And then 80% of Ghana people, they're not smart enough to see all of these things. Yeah, 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 and the tabas. I'm a South African and I see danger still. I can tell that this is nonsense. This mm -hmm. is cartoon. So all their prophecies has windows. They will never complete. Mm -hmm. Some can even, Obusman Park can even confirm that. Ah, this person is going to be uh, president, but ish, it's not confirmed. Okay, the very same president, the, the one that he says. Do you know what, do you know the, the things this guy have said? <laughs> That's what I'm saying he's not doing for free. They will kill this. <laughs> he has said a lot, a lot. A lot of things. You know what he's saying now? MPP he is not professor for MPP because the rivers in Ghana. The rivers? Yes. The spirit in the rivers. Yeah, because yeah. of Galam said they are doing illegal mining. Oh, okay. Because of that, the, sp the spirit in that rivers it's are confused. angry. Oh, okay. Are angry of that part. You see, it's now, it's now telling you to. But the rivers and the part, what does the rivers and the part has to do with it? Uh, the rivers on the land. The land is even angry. You understand? <laughs> You know, these people, that's what that's why my video you saw it is trending and then you wanted to ask. You see, I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. I because did. I know a lot about these guys, you know. Mm -hmm. I know what they do. I know, I mean, I read, I study them. Does always work in public? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With uh, uh, one woman said you walk in public with soldiers, with police guard. I don't even understand. You have powers, but still, you are guiding yourself. So he doesn't walk alone. No, he no, knows no. the danger that he has put himself yeah, into. Yeah, yeah. He knows. All the pastors, they don't walk alone. Even in South Africa, even in uh, Zimbabwe, whatever, they don't walk alone. They walk with guards. Why? Because of they know very if well. You are preaching, are if you are preaching salvation, that people should go to heaven, will you be walking with guards? No. What did you say that you need guards? Because of you know very well that other people, they know what you're doing is wrong mm -hmm. and they might attack you. Even that Ibert Angel. Mm. His news is on BBC. Go and check the documentary. Yeah. He was stealing gold from uh, uh, Zimbabwe mm. to Dubai to sell. He's a criminal. Go, go, <laughs> go and check. He did not even see that the gold that he was selling, I'll okay? Check it later. Listen, yes. he, did not, he did not even see yes. that the gold that they called him to bring to, uh, what do you call it, uh, to Dubai. Yes. He was being recorded. 
he can foresee that part but he's, he's, now, he's like, busy if he, you are powerful whoever who records you should shut down the evidence he's busy he's busy looking into system in Ghana but the, he, they were recording him doing fake transactions video is on the bbc I'll check it out I'll check I'll check so it they out. don't see what is closer to them they see something that is not even that, that, bothers them that bothers has nothing them. to do with them that's what they are concentrating on So in the last word um what would you say because obviously I, I didn't I couldn't understand maybe what what you you said to your people so now I would I, I would ask you to say it in my, in the language that I understand what what would you want to see your country um going forward when it comes to the spirituality how do you think they can work through it so that it can just finish and people they should just learn it from rwanda pokegami they should learn from rwanda all the african countries should learn from rwanda mm-hmm. he closed churches more than thousands of churches yeah because these churches were just fooling around he closed them yeah. you understand and then he put strict regulation on it if you want to be a pastor go to school do this study this did did you know and then if you want to be the a, a, a church you need to do this we need some proof you know a hmm? in Rwanda in your, in your country they don't study um, a, a ministry ministry yes that, that's that's what happened in we every have, country that when you want to be a pastor you have to go you study those things everything we have three coast say chi coast chi coast chi coast okay okay and then we have english coast english coast okay the english coast go to school and then they do the same crime but the chi coast they don't even care about your certificate so i can know. just wake up and become a pastor ah god called you no evidence go you are a pastor Case no coast. i feel that your government has given a leeway in everything that is why things are like this because you have to go study these things The you time, study religion you study ministry you study all these things so it boils back to what you said the other day to me that if it was you you would close many churches and then if you want to be a pastor you need to because i knew what i was saying i know i know the system i know everybody can be a pastor two seconds go to the uh, register general register your church start doing your church that's it case close How many NGOs do you have like orphanage homes um in your country um the the those those um organizations in in communities where they help like general helping well, we people. have we have but not too much too much we have than pastors ah. cuz now that's what I'm I'm trying to understand if if you have so much leeway of people registering themselves as pastors How, why people they don't invest in maybe opening NGOs go out there ask for donations to help the communities make money for for their people i was even saying they should use the god they are serving to help the poor you can prophesy to the rich man yes that god said you should help this one yes and then it's, maybe it's, that person will give you a million to your to your community they don't care it's for their pocket they don't care about you and uh, whatever One day they just go to the orphanage home do one or two shows and then it's ah this pastor donated their uh, kind of one. And with me I have a problem with people who does such things and want to document it and maybe put it on social media to show it's your duty right As So an and NGO, most yes. and I know people who does many things for the community but they don't want to be known they don't want to be seen like uh, PI Pagati we have someone who's called PI Pagati he always go okay fine they document but he doesn't show his face listen these guys are into business okay It's so sad though. They have to regulate them first before what you are asking can happen. First is regulation. The main reason why they are afraid that when a Muslim president comes he's going to attack them, but he will never attack them. But they are afraid because of the the bad things They're in their mind. Of Iraq. 
You understand? <laughs> they have bad idea. That's why they are, they think that the Muslim president will attack them. And they will lose. They were thinking that they will lose a lot of money that they gaining right now. Because the Muslim president you cannot go and prophesy to a Muslim president for what? You If you tell him you are going to die, they, they don't care. The yeah. Muslim they die today, they, they bury like, today. God will take. They don't care about your prophecy. Mm. So they want a Christian so that they can still manipulate that person. That's why they are looking for a Christian. They can still manipulate. This Muslim, if he becomes the president, he's not going after any Christian. He doesn't even care about you guys. But the pastors, they know very well they cannot fool like a Christian uh, president. Mm. They cannot be bringing in uh, criminal cars, uh, stolen cars. They cannot be living a luxury life. They cannot mm. be fooling around. You understand? So they are afraid. It has nothing to do with Christians. It has to do with your pastor, the criminality in his mind. That is why he's prophesying I'm that so way. I'm so fearful of your country. I'm so fearful. If this is going to go for years and years and years and years, it's going to collapse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a, it's a, religious, it's a religious economy. Mm. Yeah, Ghana is, a, I can say, is, is a 70% religious economy. You understand? Mm. You can buy water, two cities at the mall. But in the religious economy, it's 20 Ghana, 20, uh, 20, uh, sorry, 20. Same thing. Yeah, in the, in, in, in the mall, yeah, it's, two, two. it's two rents. Yeah. But in the religious economy, it's 20 rents. It's 20 rents. And they will still buy it. But when they go to the mall to buy the two, two rents, yes. they will complain that the country is very hard. That they is, say it's expensive. Yeah, that is religious economy. What? That is religious economy. You understand? Wow. The food that you are buying out, let's say you are buying a drink, mm, two cities, mm. two rents outside. Mm. In the church, it's 20 rent. You okay. still buy it. No problem. But when you go to town to buy two rents, they'll complain, ah, the country is very hard. It's Religious expensive. economy. That is religious economy. And then you think that we just, uh, that 20%. Now, yes, my last question is, In that 20% that you know that they, they see the, the, with the naked eye what's happening in the country and what these pastors, um, uh, what are they doing, right? What would you want to say to them? Uh, the pastors? The, the, the other equanabas out there. The 20%. The 20%. No, they should just keep on educating their family. That's the only way. You can't do anything about this. Mm. They need education. Mm. They need to put the fear out. Okay. Now they are fear. They are, I mean, they they they, they get feared, fear, fearful mm. when they see these pastors. Okay. They are afraid of them. You understand? Mm. So you just need to first take the fear out of them. Yeah. Then they will come to join the 20. They will understand. Okay. But they only come to the 20 when they got duped by the pastors. So even that 20%, you just want to tell them that they should keep on educating. exposing and edu educating. Yeah, educating people. Be, be the only fearless. thing is education. Because now we have internet yeah. everywhere. Just do your education online. Mm -hmm. You understand? Somebody will come on the, in the comment section to uh, insult me. Give him like two, three years. The same pastor will dupe the person who come to the same platform to expose the person. Then you become part of Do you of allow the, them when they come to you and the very same person who were cursing you a year, a year ago and then they come back and say, Ish, Ekwanaba, you remember? You will not say, Ekwanaba, you remember? Because he knows I, I, I wouldn't even know the person. You yeah. will just say, I want to expose this man of God. He's a criminal. He says, okay, come. He's the same person who was insulting So how do they do it? Do they... Do they send you a voice note of explaining? Me voice notes. Or do no, they, no, no, no. Do come, they come through? Come straight, video, speak your mind. Me voice audio. No, 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 come and say your thing. And then if they are scared for their lives? They should keep their secrets to themselves. I don't care. Okay. No, Ted. No, thank you so much. I really need it. I was so curious about this whole thing because I was like, what's really happening? What country where things have to be taken care of by pastors more especially when it comes to voting of people because of we know the protocol we know the constitution and we know very well what to do as an individual even the igp when the igp came these pastors has they have convoys when they are going home and with the police escort 
Ooh. so wait this police are they is it a government police or they government they pres- police so when the new igp came the new igp cancel all this so that's why they hate the igp yes cuz now remember me now I'm, I'm 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 in i'm within the community something serious happened those police they have to concentrate on the, the best interest of the community not that's what someone I'm saying. what's special about that's them that's what i'm saying that's why they hate the igp and then the government because the igp can say a lot of things i love it it can say a lot a lot a lot a lot of things mm-hmm. and when even this pastor is he professor for the president mm-hmm. He went to this lady's uh, lady's house, whatever. The, he got arrested. Yeah, because even in my country, so I know that's that why. the police will never just go to Pastor Mporo, for mm. an example, Pastor Mporo, and escort him from the, from from church to his house no, no, for no, what? That's what was happening. So the IGP has done a lot of job. Because they they were util- they were using they were misusing ah. the, the the resources of government and of the public state. public funds. They were being paid for fooling. <laughs> What's the use of the tax payers in your country? It's for pastors. Yeah, it, for, it's, for, it's to it's guide them. Well, even when they get to the airport, they give them serious escorts. Like, you don't know what I'm talking about. All hey, these things were cancelled. I want to go to Ghana. <laughs> because the pastor, hey, pastor, hey, they give a special treat, you know? What? But they are nobody. So the IGP has done a lot of job. That's why they hate the IGP. They shouldn't stop. The IGP shouldn't stop. They should keep on. That's why they want to vote this government out, so that they can get the ones they can control. Mm. So when the government is out, and the new one comes, mm. he professor for them. Oh, make this IGP, <laughs> make this one a police officer, make this one immigration officer. So they will control. Mm. What's the definition of IGP? Inspector General of Police. Okay. Oh, the inspectors. Mm-hmm. Mm. Inspector General of Police. Mm. You understand? So that's the main reason why they want this government out. So that they can control. Mm. Because this government uh, have really helped Ghana too much. Yeah. Through this I, I really profit. don't understand why the, 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 the equipment... The IGP the, even the, said the, nobody should prophesy. Okay. If you As want, you say that you don't yes. have to do it online. But it's still happening, that one. The same opposition party and the same uh, parliamentary people, whatever, they came after the IGP. <laughs> because that prophecy is helping them. And the most of these churches belong to them. It's a political church. Somebody built it. You are making sales. Yeah, it's, still it's a, a long serious way, job Ghana. we are talking about it's here. It's still a long way, Ghana. But thank you for this. Thanks for All the right. clarity. You're welcome. I, I, I just, because part of me for the longest time, I thought um, Ghana is a Christian country. No, no, no. No. I thought so. But yeah, thanks for the clarity. I appreciate this moment. All right, thanks. Bye. And I'm waiting for the Owusu to really to, to, to specify, not just by saying it's a good heart, maybe other reasons why he thinks that the guy that he, he wants him to be voted for, please, if someone, whether it's the assistant of him or whatsoever, to give reasons why do they think that he's the best uh, candidate, the next president that they prophesying about. Hello, we will see you for so Pacifica Asura Chodo for there. And then now for our condom is unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening. I will toothpaste to strong kwa. What did you choose? Say, I'm a will see a year fita. Na a year fita non so no. Na a ye and cow bunny beer a woe no mu beer. Any tea stain, coffee stain, smoking stain, si beer. Unique laser whitening product. A beginning in every swam or come, come, come. The other one is a wood so now would be a goo or brush it or so now. The two chosen is soon in a come up. Oh, yeah, and who were no general were no massa into a unique laser whitening. I was zero seven nine 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 seven nine two three three zero. Unique laser whitening or say money says. Penny for se be blow your sense in your da, near Tupno, Nani Paboni Fonti, and was so more bamboo here, Nani Papa Mudia, Pro Technologies, and I make out for my walk, Annie Pro. 
technology. We are specialized in both sales and installation of CCTV cameras. Yeah, Essa install CCTV cameras in the sour gun and now sabrochi now if you gun now pursue a CCTV camera installation. We need pro technologies and in sour so we CCTV camera installation, electric fence, automated gate, access control, video doorbell, and our intercom, and our satellite TV, home theater, so we pay biato, and our to and our perceber install them out. Pro technologies and our self fry and shen so say a video in a from America but you may decide papa now pedia men you know none of one suit that form make sure you know the web which memo any a branch and we're gonna you need more bra over and to seek a fire and same safe and yet you're gonna we're gonna we're gonna da na nie tenese ye sai general construction so we brochure na peso si fi o gana e dan plan bi o peso si se wa sha si dada ana afi na peso si plan bi a ye be si ama e no e ti so hia solar power ana bamba ho sensem bi a de woni ye ni sa wo so na ye san so ye smart home a be fun fi de bi o peso si she e wo fi e ana wa twu mo de ma wo woni ye ni sa wo so we are just a call away na ye san so wa dan de ma hai ana ofre brochure be do gana na wo pe full house room ana apartment a hai for short term and a long term ye be mo bia ni border form na bamba ho sam die me nwene ho en na ye ye interior decoration so we si fie na wi and i yes you fie na ma uno ye say decoration ye be sie sie wi and our office e dia ma and we just so don fie die bi na wo ho ko e fast install and na ni settings ye be ye e dia ma e wo gana wo be hu ye wo mira for dental e di wadi a che dodo wa wo be hu ye e wo ashi ye ni emaling pharmacy and what the same building for information or whatsapp 401 757030 Zero and a plus four zero one six nine nine two two five four. Pro Technologies, we have the solutions for your security and home entertainment needs at affordable prices.